Hey there, um, I want to show this little project I have. Um, now this is a, um, a Ford Sierra spindle, which my brother is going to use um, when, uh, as a part when he's making uh, his own sports car called a low cost. And um, the problem with using this part, at least here in Sweden, I don't know if it's the same um, in other countries, but the problem here is that when you use this, um, the lower ball joint, uh, the original lower ball joint, this is not the original, uh, but the original uh, ball joint isn't made to handle the forces when you mount this the way you mount it on a uh, low cost. So therefore you need to change the ball joint uh, to one of these and these, this is a Ford Transit ball joint. And uh, as you can see <coughs> this ball joint is not fitting the hole. The coning is wrong and uh, it's not big enough. So uh, what I need to do is to take my tapered reamer here, which I actually got with uh, this lathe, and uh, that's pretty handy because it works perfectly for this job, and it's not probably not a very cheap item. So um, I have made this test piece uh, with the reamer to make sure that the reamer actually fits this, uh, this particular project. So uh, as you can see that goes in much better and it's uh, the perfect size. So uh, it's okay to use. So now I need to do the actual work. And to do this <coughs> I am going to put my reamer like that put it up in my chuck and um, let the, the reamer uh, spin and uh, then the spindle will be mounted here in my tailstock. This is actually a turret lathe so uh, it's a little bit different than, an, uh, than usual lathes. Um, but I'm going to use this uh, turret uh, tool holder to make my mount so I can mount the chuck and it's going to involve some welding and uh, and uh, some other kind of fabrication will I'll, I'll just have to see see where this leads me so um, that's what I'm going to do that's the project and uh, when I have mounted this something like that, uh, I'll be able to, uh, to uh, taper this hole to a new size. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. So I mounted the tool holder and, uh, and I can bring it up. That's where it's going to go. And uh, next step is to put a bolt in here uh, to be able to mount this in the chuck. Uh, just to, to be sure that I got it aligned properly. So I'll do that. So I put a bolt here and I uh, don't know if you can see it but uh, it's the perfect size for, for the hole and uh, that's going to make it perfectly aligned. So now I just need to put that up in the chuck and uh, then I can be sure I have the spindle or rather the hole that's going to be uh, reamed uh, perfectly aligned. So uh, now all I need to do is uh, 
to run my my tailstock up here and uh, kind of make the actual holder. Now I think I will put a, a pipe in the correct size in here and then somehow weld to my tailstock. Alright, so it's uh, actually a couple of weeks uh, later now and the reason for that is uh, that I didn't have any round stock that I could use so I had to wait uh, until I uh, got a chance to go to the uh, junkyard and uh, now I've been there so uh, I bought some round stock and some uh, pipe uh, which I've turned to size uh, so they fit the one in the spindle is uh, 45 millimeters and the one in my uh, turret here is uh, 54 um, so all I gotta do now is to weld these two together put some kind of uh, holder here on the back side to make it a little more rigid um, and then I can start the actual work on the on the spindle so um, I'm gonna start welding it now and uh, then we can get to work So then we just need to check how this looks when we remove the the uh, bolt in the jaws. It seems to be looking pretty good. I think this is going to work out just fine. It seems pretty rigid. So um, I need to to uh, take off that bolt and then put the reamer in the chuck and then we're pretty much good to go I think. Okay, so I think we're good to go here. Uh, Try to get some lighting here so you can hopefully see what's going on. Seems to be fitting pretty perfectly. Doesn't seem it seems centered. It doesn't seem to be flexing when I when I push the reamer in the in the hole. So uh, let's give it a try, and I will have the the uh, ball joint here so I can just check the measurement with it idea how much I'm supposed to take here and I really don't want to go too far so I'm gonna be pretty uh, uh, I'm gonna take it pretty easy here to uh, to be sure I'm not going too far with it just needed to move the uh, the reamer in so I can get the ball joint in there to 
check the uh, the hole. I think I may need some uh, some air too. I don't think anything's happened so far. So let's just give another try. I'm going to try to uh, try it at a little higher uh, RPM. What I actually could do is to, oops, <coughs> what I actually could do here is to uh, measure where I have the, uh, let's see, that's 15 and we're supposed to go to 17 and a half. That's there. I could measure where on my reamer I have this measurement and just put a little mark in there. That will give me some idea of how long into the hole the reamer is supposed to go. Now, as I said before, I really don't want to risk going too far and making the hole uh, too big. So, uh, we need to take it pretty easy here. That RPM seems to be working pretty okay. That's uh, 112 RPM. Well, it's starting to fit, but there's still some way to go. I'm about five millimeters from the from my marker there so I should be getting close here now that's starting to look good 
Just a little more. It's a very, very soft material here, so it's uh, it's actually pretty easy going too far. Uh, that's why I'm being extra cautious here. I think that's it actually. That's probably a, a pretty good result right there. Uh, I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to try to to show it to you. Uh, but what you what you definitely don't want is to go too far. So that edge becomes uh, becomes too far in in the spindle because that will mean your washer will push against that edge and the uh, the ball joint won't be tightened enough so uh, I think I have about two two or three millimeters left here before that edge um, becomes visible here so I'm gonna call that perfect and uh, and I think uh, I hope my brother will be pretty satisfied with getting his his uh, spindle back. So uh, that's about it. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed this video, and uh, I hope you check out my other videos and uh, and su subscribe to my channel. So uh, thanks guys, see you again, bye.